The Chandrayaan-3 mission has been generating a lot of discussion around India's space program and moon missions in general. Now this also seems like a right time to talk about these five things you did not know about Chandrayaan and other moon missions. Did you know Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam ensured Chandrayaan-1 left imprint on the moon? According to an account by former ISRO chairman G. Madhava Nair, Kalam asked scientists what evidence Chandrayaan-1 would have to show it had been to the moon. Since Chandrayaan-1 was just an orbiter, scientists suggested that it would have pictures of the lunar surface, which is evidence enough. But Kalam apparently shook his head and said that would not be enough. He then suggested that the spacecraft carry an instrument that could be made to fall on the moon's surface. ISRO heeded Kalam's advice and made design changes to accommodate a new instrument, the Moon Impact Probe. This hit the lunar surface and became the first Indian object on the Moon. Chandrayaan 2's Russian connection, what is it? An earlier version of Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft was supposed to go on India's Chandrayaan 2 spacecraft but did not. The Chandrayaan 2 mission, which had a lander and a rover, was originally supposed to go in the 2011 12 time frame. At that time, India had not developed its own lander and rover. And the original Chandrayaan 2 spacecraft was supposed to be a joint mission with Russia. India was supposed to provide the rocket an orbiter while the lander and the rover would have come from Russia. However, Russia's lander and rover initially intended for Chandrayaan-2 faced issues during another mission leading Roscosmos to modify the design. Russia eventually pulled out of the collaboration and ISRO went in for indigenous development of the lander and rover. Number 3. Unlike some countries that have a whole series of lunar missions planned, India has not yet announced follow-up missions to Chandrayaan-3. Before any other mission, India will send another moon mission in collaboration with Japan, which is called LUPEX. Now, this mission is likely to be launched in the 2024-25 timeframe. The European Space Agency was an important partner for Roscosmos not just on Luna 25, but also on the Luna 26 and Luna 27 missions planned for later this decade. The ESA was putting a navigation camera and an optical navigation system on Luna 25. Similar cooperation was going on for a Russian Mars mission as well. However, all that was suspended by the European agency in April last year after Russian forces invaded Ukraine. Now, ESA will collaborate with NASA to fulfill those objectives. Over the last decade, five countries have attempted to land on the moon. Now, out of them, only China has succeeded so far. The moon missions from Israel and Japan, Bereshit and Haputo R respectively, were sent by private companies. And till date, these remain the only attempts by private space agencies to land on the moon. 